Hi! <clears throat> so, it's me, Darko Luka again. This time I'm using a mirror to hopefully keep the camera from getting ridiculously close to my face again. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> I have some interesting stories today. It's about Halo! Of course, all my, all my stories, all my good stories involve video games. I mean, video games are awesome. But anyways, they're very well deserving of stories, and this one is about Halo. Specifically Halo 1 and Halo 3. Halo 3 was my very first Halo. Or, it wasn't mine. It was at my, uh, my really good friend, I call him my little brother. Um, it was at his birthday, and they were playing Halo 3, and I was watching, and I was like, this game looks really weird. And truth to tell, I've never really thought Halo looked that great, but I'm not that good at first-person shooter games. P.S. <clears throat> so, he... He wasn't actually playing it. He was playing Rock Band. I was watching my friend Alex, and two other guys, who I no longer remember who they were, I think one of them was Anthony, and they were playing, and they were totally kicking Alex's butt. And he was just feeling so depressed because men hate to lose. Known fact. So, they decided that the best way to make him feel better was to pit him against a person who had never played Halo. Me. So they got me to play <clears throat> Shanghai. And... I, I took the controller and I was like, okay, well, tell me how to play. And they all looked at each other and just said, nah, you can figure it out. So now I'm playing a game I've never played before with a dude who's blood hungry. You know, he's viciously excited to kill, finally, because he's been dying ridiculously for the past 30 minutes, like, repeatedly. And so my character, and I'm like, okay, control stick, move. Hmm, I don't have an Xbox 360, so I didn't know the controls. And I was like, what does this button do? And he jumped, and I was like, ah! And I kept walking, and I was like, how do you fire? And I couldn't find the fire button. So I get to this area, and I see a car. And earlier, I'd seen somebody kill Alex with, it, with the car. So I was like, hey, maybe if I get in the vehicle, you know, I'll have a better chance. So I stood there, pressing every single button, and I couldn't get in the car. I saw a little bit of movement. <clears throat> and I was like, hey! How, how do you get in the car? And Alex goes, oh, just wait, I'll be right there and I'll show you. And I was like, yeah, 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 right. So, I'm standing there trying to get in the car, and that little movement catches my eye. And I look up, and I see Alex's character. And I go, hey, and I move my control stick, but my finger slips, and I find the fire button. And I smack him. His character, you know, he's like, what? And I'm like, oh, I found the fire button. So I fired, and he died. You can imagine how he felt. Even better, I turned around to try and get back in the car and his character respawned behind me. Killed him again. It's great. He put the controller down, got up and left the room. Ah, oh, good times, good times. I haven't played it since then. I don't wanna, yeah, I wanna keep my, my, my win. So the next time I play Halo 3, knowing my luck, I'm going to be like, yeah, I did that one time with the thing, you know, I accidentally killed somebody, I'm accidentally good at this game, and then I'm going to get, like, my butt handed to me. Um, <clears throat> that's my Halo 3 story. My Halo 1 story is not quite as exciting. I found Halo 1 in the garage along with an Xbox. I was very excited about that, actually. I was like, oh my god, I can actually play it, and oh my god, I have an Xbox, I didn't even know this. Not not a 360, an Xbox. I'm old school like that. Um, so I, I stuck it in and I had no idea what was going on. It kind of reminded me of Half-Life. I like Half-Life. It's a good game. First time I played Half-Life was fun. I got scared a lot. Not quite as scared as pressing the button that makes you drop weapons, like in Minecraft. That's not even supposed to be a scary game, but yeah. My Halo story, my Halo 1 story isn't that exciting, except that I ended up spending 20 minutes screaming at the TV because I was like, I did not die, I call shenanigans! I call shenanigans whenever I think something isn't supposed to happen. Also, when I play video games, I tend to adopt a terrible British accent, you can ask. 
either my boyfriend or Josh, they know, I will sit there and I'll go, bloody hell, that's not supposed to happen! I don't even know what that was. I don't think that was British. It was something. Well, I start spewing random junk that is related to British. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. And uh, it happens when I'm thinking, too. I'll be playing amnesia and I'll be sitting there going, No, I, I tried doing that. I really did. I put the barrel right there. I swear, this is supposed to work. I saw this. It's supposed to do something. And then I'll realize I'm, you know, doing it. And I'll be like, Bugger. Which doesn't help the situation, but... I have some right. I am maybe a fourth British? Maybe. I'm a lot of... I, I, I have no idea what I am. I'm, I'm... I'm Monica. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that. Alright. I'm gonna try and cap it now because I don't want it to go to nine minutes like it did last time. Where's the button? It's here. Here. Found it. Bye!